All right, guys, let's check it out. Ooh. Let's turn it around. Can I? Can't. I think it's time to wrap them up. So I have, uh, my wife likes crunchy ribs. I have crunchy ribs in there. I'm gonna wrap them up. Crush them. Uh, a couple of tri-tips. About to walk in here and get me a beer because it's barbecue Sunday. All right, so let me show you what I got, what I did here. So I moved the tri tips to the back there, and then I'm crunching the um, country ribs. So I put them in foil, and then and then I mixed. Got the kids some juice, so I mixed the uh, an apple juice. And then I put some uh, apple cider vinegar because we like the tang. And I had like, I don't know, up to the label there at the bottom of uh, this barbecue sauce. So I threw all that stuff in here, swished it around. So now it's a, it's basically a braising liquid. So I put them in foil with the liquid inside so that when I moved them closer to them, they were over there. Moving closer to the fire so that they can get hotter and basically they're braising inside the the foil. So then my tri-tips, per the temperature, it says they're already done. Uh, we'll see. I'll leave them in there a little bit. I'll check it with my other probe to confirm. Uh, but what I do with the tri-tips and I reverse sear them. I put them on the fire and sear them after. So I'll put them in there for another couple hours. And then when that's done, I will... I'll take them out, I'll put barbecue sauce on them, put them on the fire again so that the barbecue sauce can set and then they should be ready to go. So I'm gonna get my probe and probe these tri-tips says they're done, but I don't believe it. They still feel pretty squishy. Oh, this one, maybe. That one feels squishy. Anyway, that's what I'm doing now. I'll put my grate on, close my lid, I'm losing heat, thanks. So I've got my other probe here. It looks like it's been through a lot. So I'm gonna stick this guy right yeah. Uh, let's see this way. There. One thirty. Uh, could be done. Done for my taste, anyway. I would say, yeah, that one's right. So, anyway. It's about right. Two different, I usually do them two different, uh, two different uh, temperatures anyway. One to eat now and then one to put in the fridge so that when you reheat it, it's not super dry. So I'll let the new coals that I put in there heat up and then I'll reverse sear them and then uh, wrap them in foil and put them in um, the oven with it off just to keep it warm. Everybody's out at uh, the beach right now and they didn't want to hang out with me when I'm barbecuing. When they get home, barbecue. So they were done. So I'm putting, so rookie mistake. I put, I checked the, I put new coals on and then I checked the tri-tip. I should have done the other way around. I should have checked the tri-tip, make sure that it was done. So that way the coals that were over there were hot and the grate was hot above it. But I put um, new coals in and then I checked the tri-tips and it ended up being done. So now I have to wait for the great to get hot again because the new coals are covering the hot ones so what I did was I opened up my smoke box here so I can get more oxygen in hopefully get the coals hot quick um, so the nose will be done so like I said this one this one's already like 145 this one's like 130 um, so overcooked for my liking but we'll see um, Throw them in tacos, put salsa, tastes great. So anyway, this one for today, that one for tomorrow. And then we have ribs, and I need a beer. Anyway, that's going behind me. It's taking a long time to get the coals hot. So, there are two things that should always be in my fridge, a cold beer mug and a bucket of ice cream. So like, that's all I demand. Shout out to Casa Aglia with their New beer. Anyway, today was tri-tipping.
country ribs. I really wanted to, I, I, did, I asked out a bunch of, a couple of buddies about some jerk marinade. I really wanted to do that. It'll basically be just for me because the family doesn't do too well with spice. Um, I didn't make it to the store, so I'll probably order from Amazon, probably make that next weekend. That way I can start the marinade on like Friday and then I can grill them on Saturday. Uh, and I'm really itching to do a pork butt, but that requires a lot more planning, a lot more, because basically I started the day before. So like if I have to do a pork butt, I'll start it on the night before when I get home from work. I'll get it in like at seven. And then it's basically babysit it all night. I don't have a, I have a charcoal smoke box. I don't have a pellet one or fan on it. So I have to monitor the temp all night. So uh, I set my alarm for every three hours to get up to check the pork butt. It's usually done by like dinner time the next day. Uh, make my own rub and barbecue sauce. Might as well go the whole the whole nine yards. Um, if I'm gonna stay up all night, I might as well do the whole thing, right? So I did it once for my wife's my wife's 40th birthday. 40th birthday. My wife's 40th birthday. I, it was a big deal, right? So we invited birthday size pre. What's going on now? Birthday size party. 30, 40 people. Uh, in my, you know, tiny for party for catering. My tiny. Uh, barbecue we did like 10 10 pork butts so 10 pork butts was it there yeah 10 pork butts and uh i had i think full i had that box full oh man it was exciting at the end because of the timing and how many i had and how big my pit was i had to throw two of them in the because uh, of course they get stuck at the at the um sticking point right 170 they wouldn't move from 170 for like nothing filled that box up screaming it wasn't moving so um it's because there's so much in there and what happens well anyway science what happens is there's a lot of water in there and it won't raise in temperature above 170 um until all the water's gone so that's why if you use like a water pan or you continually baste your um meat uh that's why it takes it takes a long time anyway but if you keep doing that it takes a lot longer because it has to evaporate all the water before it kicks in and melts the fat and that's when you get to 190 200 but anyway because it was so packed it wouldn't break the plateau so i fired up the oven and stuck two in there um and then just kept you know filling the box so eventually they all got cooked the first two came out of course it was great everyone loved the barbecue sauce but uh yeah, my barbecue 2.0 definitely is a either a vertical one, a big one, or a longer one. Uh, we'll see. Um, but it's a necessity. Gotta have one. Anyway, we'll see what's going on with the meat. Oh, it's this one now. I hear it. I gotta get my glove on here. These are skin savers here, best invention. So, this one, and this one. Oh yeah, they get, they get, all, they get all crispy. You smoke them, and then I crisp them up at the end. Anyway, that's what I do. So, try tips are done. Uh, so I reverse here uh, and then I wrap them in foil just to keep the heat in and then I stick them in the oven when that not turned on I put a um, little uh, what is it called corning I don't know, it's kind of like a glass dish a glass dish under them just to catch any juice if it leaks out but I uh, leave them there for like 15 minutes I'm getting hungry I'm not sure if I can wait for the kids to come back from the beach so I'll probably eat something Correct it when they before they get here. Uh, anyway, so I have the country ribs, country ribbing in there. I'll probably give them another hour. What time is it? It's noon. So at one, I'll go check them. Open up the foil, probe them. Uh, if they look done, 
then I'll sauce them up and then I'll put them on the grill again just to set the sauce I'm using a pre uh, store sauce today I didn't make any sauce um, so yeah this is my barbecue hat good coverage because I've got a lot of sun over there in the back and I'm bald so I gotta protect the coconut anyway we'll see you in a couple hours all right so um, just been resting long enough actually, I'm just gonna put this back what am I gonna do I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna do gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a mess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one out, put it right here. So I can put this in here. There you go. Open up the foil. Okay. It's been resting. Smells smoky. There it is. Pro tip. Always put a towel on your cutting board so it won't slip. Shout out to my cousin Vanessa for my Cutco 3000. I'm not sure if it's 3000, but. So, the grain goes that way. So I'm gonna cut this way. So I have the comal going. Make me some tacos. All I used on it was salt and pepper, like a lot of salt, a lot of pepper. Very good. Smoky and tender. Let me cut myself one more piece. There, make tacos out of that. Put this back in the oil. Do it on the ribs. We'll have more information on the ribs later. All right, here we go to the taste test. Just chopped it up with some corn tortillas. Put some salsa on it. It's tender. Smoky, not dry. Sometimes you can try tips, kind of dry. It's also spicy, salty. Pretty good. I just went by the barbecue pit. Can smell the, can smell the apple cider vinegar and apple juice. So they're starting to boil, braise. Probably give them another half an hour and check them out so they look and finish these all right guys we're almost done forgive me if i have tried to bend my teeth i didn't go but brush my teeth after the tacos but anyway so what i did was i took them out of the soil i put barbecue sauce on them so now I'm, what i'm really doing is just setting the setting the barbecue sauce i'm leaving the juice open I have the foils there. I'm waiting for them to put new coals in there for that to heat up. The braising liquid's still in there. I'm going to let it evaporate inside of the um, pit while these things set. Maybe another half an hour, 45 minutes, and they should be done. All right, so I think they're done. Everyone got home, so it's still tender. See? Little riblets. Yeah. So, I'm going to take them out, wrap them in foil probably, and then everyone's ready. Okay. Oh, we're filming. All right. So, dear, come back. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, so, All right. so. I made you. I made oh, you. Oh, thank you. I made you try tip in here. I already cut it, so it's oh, okay. cut. No, no, I'm just letting you know before you open it. You're like, why is it cut? You're like, I already cut it. My ribs. And then your ribs over there. Yeah. And barbecue sauce. 
Okay. I would. I didn't make it. Oh. Okay. It's just <laughs> the one you bought from the store. Okay. Okay. So I want you to try. Cut you a slice of tri-tip and then have a rib. Okay. And then let me know. Mom, I made a little. Oh, cute. Oh. I don't think there's no slice. Yes, it is, because I sliced it. Maybe the other one. Oh, I guess it's the other one. How did, I, how did I not know? Wait. How did I not know that? No, I sliced it. Yeah? Yeah. Take it out. Yep. Slice it. Go. That's the slice side. Go. With, not cut. Dude, just, uh, you have to cut it with a knife. Oh. Do you have to <laughs> cut it with a knife. That's why the knife's out with the cutting board. Knife is out with the cutting board. Cutting board is there. Okay, sorry. Knife is here. No. Knife is there. Take okay. that. Stab your cantaloupe. Okay. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Like Against the grain. Or with it. Okay. <laughs> this is the Todd. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Good. Okay. This is the okay. Mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, okay, said. open up a rib. Oh, really tough. Mm. I found the meatiest one. I thought it would be tough. Mm. Mm. Country rib. Mm -hmm. Not any other. Yeah, but it's not one. It's all I know. I know. I'm going to cut all the choices. Is that a free sample? This is a free sample. Do you like free samples? Yep. Papa has three samples all the time, huh? Yeah. Are they the best? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Maybe I have one. I want that one. Which one? This 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 Okay. That is, not a, that is not an opinion. That is a statement. Mm, they're good. They're okay. Very good. But they're different. Okay. Do you like the other ones or this one or these? Mm. They're both good. The ones that didn't have more. Oh, caramelization. Mm hmm. More sugary. Yes. Sweeter. Okay. Yes, because the rub has brown sugar in the other ones. These mm. are totally dry. Mm. What? You have stage fright now? One, we're filming. One second. I think I like the sweeter. Um, mm. But do you base the other ones in your barbecue sauce? I basted them in this barbecue sauce. But These. I based time. all of them in barbecue sauce. Yes. They all get they all get braised in some sort of braising liquid, mm -hmm. which is some sort of juice, barbecue sauce, vinegar mixture, uh -huh. and then they get basted in a barbecue sauce and then and then basted and then barbecued a little longer for this one you use this one correct and last other time you use yours uh it depends on thank you very much it depends on what we have but they all have some sort of barbecue sauce on them already i think i like whatever you were doing before uh -huh. it has more whatever it is Okay. Well, this is going on a video, so I'm publishing it. So, is this a good barbecue or a bad barbecue? Oh, it's a good barbecue. Okay. I wish I'm eating them. Okay. Could be you're hungry. Wow. Well, they're, they're good. Yeah. Maybe I just like the, the other, whatever they do the other time. Mm -hmm. I have more stuff on them. Uh huh. Well, this time I used the barbecue powder that you that you bought. Okay. But this is what you bought, so I use this. I didn't make my own. Ah, uh, the other times your own. Yes, the other times I make my own. Okay, so we like that one. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye.